Okay, good morning, good afternoon, good whatever it is. This is Dr. Lockett, and we're going to go over our M2 Word Lab final project. So let's look at the assignment and see what it requires us to do. Okay, this final project has three parts. Each part builds on each other as you learn from the software. In this task, you are promoting a new product. The product is an invention you created. You will bring your product design and concept to a group of investors. When you present your product to the investors, you will have a you will have created a flyer in Word, a spreadsheet in Excel, and a presentation in PowerPoint to introduce and promote your product. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do for this part of the product project is part one. Okay, and here are the requirements for part one. We're going to create a professional looking one page flyer in Microsoft Word to introduce your new product. Make sure you have the following. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go new and that's that's you get to you get to the new from the um, file tab so you click the file tab and you click new and we're going to select a blank document okay so we have a blank document so the first thing we're going to do is insert a cover page so I'm on the insert tab and I'm going to select cover page okay so we're going to select the cover page doesn't matter which one you select but I'm going to select this one here in the middle it's called bandit okay my document title it's Willie's smart answers because that's the name of my product. Whatever your product is, you can place it right there. Of course, it's Willie Lockett. And the company name is, uh, we we'll just call it um, Willie Company. And the company address, just given an address, um, 1200. Twelve hundred Fayetteville Street. Something like that. Okay, so far so good. So now we have our title page. Cover page. Okay. Alright. So the first thing I want to do on my flyer, this is my flyer. See, I have my cover page, and now I'm going to the next page for my flyer. So at the top of my flyer, I am going to put the name of my my service. Um, if you're doing whatever your product is, you put that you put that name there. Um, John Spaceships Willie's. So my product is Willie's, and don't worry about it. Don't worry about the spacing and how beautiful it looks and all that. We're just putting in the information and we'll go back later on and make it presentable. So Willie, I'm just going to type this all caps, Willie will Lee, <laughs> yeah, Willie uh, smart answers. And then I'm probably going to put um, maybe I'm going to insert a picture of my product. So I'm going to go insert and I'm going to go online pictures and I'm going to get a picture of a brain 
because that means smart, right? Smart people have a brain, so I'm going to select the brain, and I'm just going to insert it right there. Okay, again, don't worry about um, the formatting, centering it, or anything. Uh, we're just putting this in. Okay. All right, so the next thing I'm going to do, according to the requirements, is I'm going to put a page border. Here, here are the requirements. I got my one page plus a cover page. So the next thing I'm going to do is select a page border. Okay, so page borders, if you go to the design tab, and all the way to the right, you'll see page borders. And I'm just going to select a page border. If you want some art to your flyer, you can add art if you want to. It's completely up to you. So now you see I have a page border. So far, so good. OK, let's look at the next requirement. So that's our page border. Now we need to uh, insert a shape or a special character. OK, so I'm going to go insert. And here are shapes right here under the Insert tab in the Illustration group. I'm just going to insert, find a shape, um, any shape you want. I'm probably going to pick um, this happy face. Okay. So when you select your shape, your cursor would turn to a plus sign. And I'm going to hold down the cursor, hold down the mouse, the left mouse, hold it down. And there is my shape and I just grabbed the shape and I just moved it next to the picture okay all right so the next thing it requires us to do is to have some smart art okay let's find some smart art so we're gonna go insert Here's smart art right here. So we're going to select some smart art. You can select any one of these you want to. I'm just going to select the very first one that's listed. Works for me. Okay. Now that's my smart art. And I'm going to put maybe my mantra. We. care for you okay and we can we can um, change the spacing we can make it smaller by again we're not concerned about the looks of it we're just making sure that we have all the all the requirements in there. Okay. All I did there was just I just centered it, but it's completely up to you. It doesn't have to be centered. Okay. What is the next requirement? Okay, so the next requirement is one a minimum of one modification from the font grouping. Okay, so if we go back to our flyer. Here's a font grouping right here. See where it says font? That's a font grouping. So first thing we need to do is make one modification. Hmm. Okay, so let's just modify maybe my title. Okay, here's one modification. I can bold it and I will underline it and I will change the color of it, change the font color and I'll make it a little bigger. Okay. And I centered it. So that's one at least one modification. As you can see, I made more than one. Okay. What's the next requirement? Use a 
minimum of one modification from the paragraph grouping. Okay, so here's a paragraph grouping here. So what we want to do is type a little paragraph about our product. And I'll just type, we have been in business for 20 years. We offer the best prices and military discount. We um, you're just explaining about your, your product. So we provide the best and smartest answers for any subject. Okay, so what you're doing is you're telling you're telling your your audience about your product. Okay, and of course this is uh, centered, but we don't want it centered. We want it okay, something like that. That's three sentences. That's a paragraph. Um, you might want to say we. Um, are open we are open during the following times okay all right so next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in because you got to have a modification from the paragraph grouping I'm going to put in one modification and that I'm going to put in a bullet right here. I'm going to put in the hours that we're open. Um, eight, um, eight, eight to five Mondays, um, two to nine Sundays, um, off on uh, Saturdays something like that okay all right so what else does it require us to have okay so we have our modification from the font grouping we have a text description which is what I just typed we have a image of the product my image is right here that's my image that's right there Okay, so now let's go back to that image and format it in two ways, two different ways. Okay, so we're gonna select the image and when you select the image, you notice that the format tab is present. When you deselect the image, you don't see the format tab. When you select the image, look, the format tab appears. Okay, so we need to, we need to format the image in two different ways. So what I'll do is I'll maybe I'll put a border around the image. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put a border around the image, and maybe I'll um um maybe I will change the color of the image. Like like so, okay. So as you can see, I put a border around it. I change the color of the image. Okay. There are other things you can do. You could make it 3D if you wanted it. You could, whatever you want to do, okay? But as you can see, I have modified the image in two ways. Okay, so that's done. Okay. Um. Okay, so look at the overall completeness and the look of the flyer. Okay, so one thing we have to do is when we look at it, it looks pretty vanilla it looks pretty bland okay so now this is where you put your spin on it you put your take on it so I'm gonna go in here and I'm going to probably 
Um, but this is completely, completely up to you. I'm going to, first I'm going to go to the design page and I'm going to color this page. So I'm going to go page color, put some bling on it, bling it up a little bit. Looky there. So look at there. That looks better. Okay. Okay, so you might want to uh, move things around. If you want to, you can move, you know, move things around if you want to. You don't have to. Um, but it's completely up to you. And then I might just put, um, come by and see us. I might put that on there somewhere like that. You don't have to, but I'm just, I'm just putting my own, you know, put your bling on it. Okay, so basically you have every requirement that is on the rubric. Okay, we have one page, we have a page border, we've got a special character, we have a graphic, modifications. Only thing we need to do now is save it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to save it to the desktop. Okay, okay, so we're going to save it to the desktop. Okay, so I'm just gonna, um, we're gonna go file, save as, and I'm gonna save it to the desktop. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. You can save it to your, um, you could very easily save it to your, your uh, thumb drive, but for me, it just is easy to save to the desktop, and we're gonna save it in this manner right here. CIS 110 00, what this is whatever class you're in, whatever your class is, your class might be section 00, it might be, it might be um, 2901, something like that. This login ID is your username that you logged into Blackboard. So mine is L O C K E T T W. Doesn't matter what it's um what it's uppercase or lowercase. Okay. I'll, I'll lock it W and then um one, two, three, four, whatever your um, student ID um is, it's module two. Uh, and then it's the word final. So I'm gonna say that to the desktop. And it's done. There you have it. So next thing we need to do is upload this. Okay. So all we need to do is go to Blackboard right here. So I'm in Module 2 in Blackboard. I'm at the very bottom where it says Word 2 Final Project. I'm going to click this icon right here. Click that right there. I'm going to scroll down to where it says browse my computer. I'm going to browse my computer. I'm going to go to my desktop. And there it is. There's my assignment right there. And I hit open. And then I'm going to hit submit. Okay, I hope this helped you. And good luck in your courses.